Good day and welcome back to my channel Being Rocky. On this week travel with me, I'll try to recreate a meal which me and my family had in Athens when we visited stuffed calamari with feta cheese and rice. So let's get start cooking. So for today's meal, I have three squid clean. I got some dill, garlic, onion, green pepper, red pepper, I got some lemon, feta cheese, I got salt, black, salt, pepper, and we got some oil we brought back from Greece. How cool is that? And we got some basmati rice. Our first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut some lemon. One lemon. Juice over the calamari. All right, while in Athens, we stayed at the hotel Windham Grand Athens. Across the street, there's this huge store they call the Bread Factory. Upstairs, they have all the machinery where they do all their baking. Downstairs, it's one huge pastry shop. Pastries are so good. Every day they created a new pastry that you could go and buy and eat, which was awesome. So meanwhile, I got my water hot. I got two cup of basmati rice that I'm gonna wash. I'm gonna in my pot. Alright, so I'm putting my rice. I wash my rice. It's basmati rice. I'm doing the rice because uh, basmati rice is a little loose. So it's gonna be good for the stuffing. So next step is I'm gonna just cut me up a whole little onion. The hotel we stayed at once you get downstairs, it's where there's one stop of the hop on hop off bus, which I highly recommend it. That takes you to see all the historical sites in Athens. So my rice is finished. I'm gonna strain that there. So I strain my rice. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight cloves of garlic. 
and we'll just chip it up here. So while in Athens, we visited the archaeological museum, which the, all the floors were glass. And when you walk, you could see like they're starting to do like excavations of new site that they found. I mean, back then for those times, the uh, people in Athens or Greece, they were really advanced. Compared to when they were showing you about how they, the plumbing, the way they run their water and stuff like that. So it was amazing to see. Me and my family went up to the Acropolis where the Parthenon is located in the highest point of the mountain. It was so awesome. It was like what you see in the postcard. I mean, other than that, it's such a huge building. Once you're there and you look at it, it's, uh, I mean, it's breathtaking. It's amazing to be there to witness something like that that happened in history, you know? It, it was awesome, man. While in Athens, we visited the Panathenaic Stadium, which is built with wild marble. It was the first Olympic stadium, and uh, the first modern Olympics were held in 1896, which I tried to run a lap with two persons, and I bring third. Cutting up my green and red peppers. Very small pieces. Very, very tiny. All right, so I put some oil in there, my fan to hat. While my oil is hot, when we were in Athens, we visited the Monastraki Square, which from the square, up in the mountain, you could see the Parthenon, which was awesome. Um, there's large uh, seafood markets, there's a lot of souvenir stores, you could buy fresh fruits. It's in the nighttime, people come out there perform, it's more of a nighttime performance stuff. It, it was so awesome to be there. I mean, Athens is so rich in, in, in history that throughout the years you read stuff in history books and I could actually be there and witness some of the stuff that I've been reading for years in the books.
All right, so my oil is hot, so I'm gonna put some of the onions in here. Let that cook. All right, so my onion cooked a little bit. I'll put my garlic. this down for a couple of seconds. Then I'm gonna add my red and green pepper. Cook that for a couple of minutes. That's nice there. Eh? So, meanwhile, my rice is cooling. I'm gonna do some black pepper and salt. All right, so, all my seasoning is finished. Frying up. So, I'm gonna put the rice in there. seasoning So my rice is finished, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna let it cool for a minute. I'll put it in the fridge, let it cool down. And then I'm gonna add my cheddar cheese and stuff my calamari. So my rice is cool, I'm gonna add some of my feta cheese to it. A little more cheese than rice. So, when we were in Athens, we got to visit the presidential mansions where we saw the changing of the guards, which was, which was awesome with the nice wooden shoes like back in the days. And in the square, there were lots of pigeons which you buy food and you put your hands out and you could feed them. Got my squid now. I'm gonna stuff them with the rice and feta cheese. I don't want to put too much because once you fry it, it contract. is one two pick and then you stitch it up
There we go. Nice and stuff. Ready to fry. Alright, so I already stuffed my squid. I put some black pepper and some salt on it. I got my oil heating up. I'm gonna put like half of an onion and two garlic. That's just for flavor the oil a little bit. Here goes the squid, my eye is hot. Here goes the squid in the pot. Then the key. That's it. Alright, so here goes one. I'm going to try to do this one with a little bit of tempura mix. So I'm just going to dip it in here in a little tempura. Meanwhile, that one is frying. It's frying this. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my last calamari finished frying. Calamari. Alright, so you see I cook my stuffed squid with rice, basmati rice and feta cheese. So now let's have a taste. Oh, that was so good. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned uh, for Travel With Me next week.